Food chains, food webs, and energy pyramids. Food chains, what are they? Food chains always start with a producer, like a, a plant, and producers do, don't depend on other organisms to gain their energy. They uh, use photosynthesis to get energy from the sun. And consumers, they get their energy from the producers. Uh, food chains are a sequence of transfer of the matter between two organisms, but only 10% of the energy is transferred, and the rest is lost in heat and waste. Um, food chains usually have uh, five trophic levels, because every time you go up to trophic levels, the energy is decreased by 10%, so they won't have enough energy to stay alive. On a trophic level is the position that an organism occupies in a food chain, what it eats and what eats it. Food chains. Food chains are made up of plants, which are producers, and animals. Um, it is the order in which energy moves from the sun to plants to animals. So this diagram shows the producers um, getting their energy from the sun through photosynthesis. Um, and from that energy, uh, it's stored in the tissues of the producers. Uh, and when the next consumer eats it, um, only 10% is gained. And 90% is lost. And then it keeps going on. So it would be the 10% of that 10%. And so on. Food webs. What are they? Food webs are, compl are complicated feeding relationships between organisms. There are a bunch of food chains combined um, to create a food web in an ecosystem. Uh, most animals need to be part of more than one um, food, food chain because they need more energy, especially in the higher trophic levels. Like in this, um, the lion, um, is uh, combined with three different food chains, and it's a pretty high trophic level, so it needs more energy rather than a rabbit. It just gets its energy from the tree. Energy pyramids. What are energy pyramids? Energy pyramids are the show the further along the food chain you go, the less energy, which is biomass, remains available. Available. As I said, 10% of the energy is left at each stage, and 90% is lost through heat and weight. And each level of the energy pyramid represents the different trophic levels. The greatest amount of the energy is at the bottom, because it gets its energy straight from the sun, and it doesn't depend on anything. And then, as you go up, the energy decreases, just like like the blocks of a pyramid. Um, so, the further you go up, the less energy or biomass there is. There are also pyramids of numbers, which show the number of the organism rather than the energy. Like in this, this would be the tree over here. And a lot of small herbivores eat off that one tree, and carnivores eat off that, those herbivores. The tree is a big organism, so it can produce for a lot of 
other organism. That's my slideshow.